In this video, I am going to do an update to my video, Dreaming About Being Pregnant. If you are meeting me for the very first time, my name is Lakeisha, and I am your sister coach and the founder of A Sister's Truth. And what I do is I help high achieving women just like you find fulfillment by getting clarity on your purpose and creating a customized action plan for you to pursue it. So I've been getting a number of requests to update or give you guys an update to my dreaming about being pregnant video because in that video i talked about how i dreamed about being pregnant and showing my you know pregnant be my pregnant belly to some very important people in my life my co-worker my brother and best friends and i um, talked about how i woke up you know really excited and energized and just ready to tackle my dreams because anytime you have a dream about being pregnant it you usually means that you are going to give birth to some incredible amazing idea that you either have been sitting on and been too afraid to um pursue or an idea that you haven't thought of yet that's definitely coming down the line so i was really excited excited in that video that video did get a lot of views and i've had a number of you asking me to do an update to the video and let me just start off by apologizing and saying that i am so sorry that it has took, taken so long to give you an update on that particular video so I have a few moment. Uh, I have a few moments, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do an update. So since that video, I have birthed many things since that video. My business, the Sister's Truth, has taken a completely different, well, not a completely different direction, but um, I have discovered other aspects, other of my talents, my gifts, and my skills that I had that I did not know that I had, and so I have really been evolving evolving as an entrepreneur and as a business owner but the the biggest thing that I birthed that I had no idea was coming you know um literally a year later um uh, from shooting that particular video I had launched my book I became an author I launched 31 days of truth manifest your passion power and perseverance and this is something that was completely off the radio off the radar I wasn't even on the to-do list at all but things just fell in place and I was you know seeing the signs the signs from God was as clear as day that I needed to publish this book so I just went ahead and decided to be obedient and actually publish my book so it's so crazy because in um a year after shooting that video dreaming about being pregnant actually a few months after shooting that video i you know set goals for myself and was just like hmm in two years i'm gonna start to write a book <laughs> in two years i was gonna start writing a book and so god had other plans because after you know making that particular goal a friend came to me and was just like you know um, I've been reading a lot of your work um, on your website because I have a blog that I used to keep updated <laughs> up until publishing my book and she was just like you know what you should read you know you, you, you should you should write a book and I had a speaking engagement coming up and it was just so crazy I wanted something written that people can walk away from that I can give to them so they can you know walk away walk away with and I was thinking about putting together a pamphlet so when my my best friend you know came to me and was just like you know um you should do a book and I was just like really and then from there um she, you know and talking to her I came up with the idea of the format from the book and then from there I ended up literally running into a editor who's also a ghostwriter that ended up helping me you know edit my book and then I ended up running across YouTube videos about other authors who self-published their book and so literally within like four or five months I was able to publish a book that nobody's seen coming when i tell you people was just like you did what wait a minute hold up you published a book like when were you even working on the book you know and it, it, it blew my mind just as well as it blew everyone else's mind but i tell people all the time when they ask me when did you find the time to sit down and write a book and i said i've never seen an episode of insecure because around the time that I was, you know, preparing and writing and, and publishing my book, you know, um, Issa Rae 
had her show her new show insecure it became popular it was starting to become popular or regular on hbo everybody was into it everybody was watching it and not your girl because i was busy writing my book and so that's what i tell people you know jokingly but it's real talk i was literally working on my book and so that is the biggest thing that has happened since shooting that video of dreaming about being pregnant. And like I said, you know, A Sister's Truth has gone into, you know, different directions. I have created an online course called Strategize Your Vision. You know, it was something that came to me because, you know, towards the end of the year and beginning of the, of the next year, I was getting a lot of vision board party invitations and it was like everybody was doing vision board parties and there's absolutely nothing wrong with putting together a vision board. I have, you know, two vision boards over here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but I feel like, you know, um, it was turning into the vision board parts were turning into like a, a time to get together and do wine and cheese, if you will. Um, vision board parties are not a time to, in my opinion, to come together and just cut pretty pictures out of a magazine and put it on a board and then stick it in a, on, either on your wall in the corner somewhere thinking that those images on that board is going to come true. That's not how a vision board works, in my opinion. Like your vision needs to be purpose driven. If your purpose and your vision are not aligned, then that vision, if your purpose and vision are not aligned and that's not what you put on your vision board, whatever pretty pictures you didn't put on our board, it's not going to come to pass because that's not your purpose or those pretty pictures on that board will come to pass. And then you're going to find yourself, you know, having an identity crisis because you're not fulfilled, but you have all the things that society says that you should have, and you have accomplished all of these pretty things that you put on your vision board, but you're still not happy and fulfilled. So I decided to do something about that. And I created an online course called strategize your vision, where I sit down and I teach you how to take action, how to actually take action that's going to help you to manifest your vision and I do it in a step-by-step -step process and I start with helping you to create a foundation that your strategy must be built on in order for your vision to even come to life I start off the course by you know teaching you what purpose is what vision is and how to align the two and what are the you know the little uh, nuances that you can, you know, pay attention to and realize, you know, whether or not your vision is not purpose driven, because if it's not purpose driven, then you're going to simply just like waste your time pretty much, you know, to a certain extent, because we all have a journey that we have to go on and preferably, you know, every step that you take on your journey, you know, is teaching you something and you're pulling lessons from it. And preferably doesn't take you as long to get back on track onto the, you know, the, the purpose that God has for your life. But my course, Strategize Your Vision, helps you to shorten the time frame a little bit by really helping you to focus on different areas of your life that you haven't even taken into consideration that will literally affect directly and indirectly affect, you know, whether or not you actually manifest the vision that you have for your life. So that's something that was birthed since creating that video. Another thing that has come to fruition is that I learned that I have a skill for, you know, um, having conversations with people. Um, it started off with doing live interviews on my Instagram channel and so now it has more from doing a, a a live interview on Instagram to having my own Facebook show to now I'm going to launch my podcast in 2020. The name of the the interview series is Living Her Truth where I sit down and have honest transparent conversations with other sisters on what it means and what it looks like to live your truth because that's something that um it's a living your truth or live in your truth is a phase that I think is just thrown out there a lot. And, you know, a lot of us don't really know what that means. A lot of us don't know 
what that looks like and a lot of us are really afraid to do the self-reflection that's needed in order for us to show up authentically and live on our truth every day so i decided to create a platform where other women can come on and share their stories share their self-awareness journey and what they're doing to really you know fall in love with themselves and uh validate themselves every single day so they can show up authentic with every but you know in every aspect of their life and and show up authentically doing everything you know that is on their agenda to do right so they can be a good example to their daughters to their nieces you know their, their little cousins and the people that they are to motivate and inspire so that started off as an interview series on Instagram and turned into a Facebook show. And now I'm going to turn it into a podcast starting in 2020. And I'm also going to expand my platform and have men come on the show as well because we can learn from my brothers. You know, yes, it's a safe space for, you know, us, you know, girls to come together and talk. But it's time to invite the brothers into this space as well because we can definitely learn from them just as much as they can learn from us. So yeah, I am like super excited about that. And I was talking to someone just the other day and they said that, you know, once I start my podcast, that's pretty much just going to put me over into the media field. So it's like, I'm, I'm just like morphing into this. Oh my God, I'm just morphing into this whole new category that I had no idea that, you know, uh, AST was going to take me in you know, in um, the direction that I'm going right now. And I'm super excited about it. And I'm just sitting here and I am just enjoying this journey. I am. I am really enjoying this journey. And so I'm just... Um, going through the doors that God is opening up for me. I'm going through the doors. Am I questioning me before I walk over the threshold? Am I questioning myself or doubting or questioning God and doubting myself? Absolutely. Every step of the way, because I'm, I'm doing these interviews and I'm having these conversations and I'm like, okay, God, uh, why are you taking me this way? Um, what am I supposed to do with this? You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm human. I'm not perfect. You know? Um, and this is something that we all do, but I'm not letting the fear, the doubt, the um, not having all the answers and not being able to really see the whole picture come together immediately. I'm not letting that deter me from continuing to move forward because the one thing that we must do every day, listen to this, the one thing that we must do every day is move forward afraid. We have to, because that's the only way our vision, our purpose are going to manifest is when we move forward afraid. So yeah, thank you for asking me to do an update to that video. Thank you because you know, you asking me that forced me to really sit down and acknowledge these major milestones that I've had in my business, you know, and um, in my personal life. Like, I feel like I have a whole new set of confidence <laughs> since becoming an entrepreneur, you know, because I've done some scary things over uh, the last, what is this, October, over the last month or so. I've done some really scary things that has put me, you know, in a whole new category in my opinion. And ASC is just only going to grow from here. And I'm starting to get you know, like people are starting to notice me in public. So it's it's just it's just really nice, you know, to know that I am living in my truth and I'm living purposefully and people see it and recognize it and they tell me and they acknowledge it. Not to say that I need anybody to acknowledge it because I am going off of what it is that God and I are talking about and the fulfillment that I feel, you know, that's what I'm going off of. But it's also really good to know that you're touching people and that you're being of service, whether you know it or not. And that's the motivation that I need to keep moving forward. And I just want to encourage you to keep moving forward afraid because your gifts, your talents, your skills, your bravery, you know, we need to see that. 
because our blessings are tied to it. Whether you believe it or not, we are tied, we are linked together. And we need for you to show up every day and say yes to your calling and your purpose. And the only way for you to do that is to move forward afraid. All it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. That's it. That's it. And if you need help really like ironing out exactly what your purpose is, getting that clarity that you need, helping you to move forward afraid, if you need someone to stand by you and strategize and figure out what your next step is, I'm here for you. I'm your sister coach. We're sisters in this. I want to do life with you. And if you would love to have me on your journey, then hit me up at info at a sister's truth .com so we can journey together.